Hello, everybody. Well, welcome to our webinar, SpiderQ, SpiderQ Correct, Contrast, and Color Balance, already in the photo shoot. So this webinar is about raw calibration and how to um, correct the color balance and the contrast balance. So SpiderQ is a raw calibration tool which ensures the proper light and color balance in your image. It captures accurate color without a lot of trial and error manipulation, so you have all references in one image. It's spectrally neutral, so that cube responds accurate, um, accurately to lighting conditions. So it doesn't matter if the um, ambient light is a neon tube or tungsten or daylight, so spider cube is spectrally neutral. Then it provides references values to check and adjust raw control settings. What it means, um, I won't explain it, I will show you um, how it works in the raw converter directly into um, Photoshop a bit later. Spider Cube is not just another gray card, it's a kind of extended gray card. Um, the spider is a cube, it's three dimensional and uh, it's um, made as a cube because of um, it will show you um, the, the main light source in your shooting environment. You will see it a bit later in the raw um, converter directly. And then it's, um, as I already um, told you, it's formulated to provide the most spectrally neutral color values. So the material of the spider cube is a cycloy, it's a plastic, a kind of plastic, a special kind of plastic, but it's um, neutral in any light condition. That's very, very important. And it's extremely durable. So you can scratch the cube and um, just for example, the gray area to, to do the, the white point correction. Even under the gray material, it's gray, it's through pigmented. So if there's a scratch, it doesn't matter. So it's still, cute, uh, still um, gray underneath. It's the only product on market that makes it possible to adjust to absolute black. That's the reason why it's a cube and why there is, you can see it here, a black trap in the cube. So your camera can't see any details in this hole, your eye as well. So you have a reference to absolute black. This zone, this hole will be underexposed. So in one single shot, the spider cube captures a wide range of color and exposure data. So step one is place the cube in your shooting environment. Then step two, of course, make an image of your cube, capture it once. And there is normally a step 2.5, do all your, your images, so um, do your shooting. And then step three is the developing process in the raw converter itself. So now I want to show you how it works. So let's change to my, um, to my Photoshop, to the bridge. And you can see that I captured um, two images, one with a cube, it's on the left side, and one without the cube because of, I'm not interested in, um, in uh, working with a picture where the cube is inside. So just the first image to do the settings is with the cube. I open this image in the raw converter, and as you can see, here is a, a red area. This red area is a warning function of the um, of the uh, Adobe raw converter, so I can switch it on and off. This is to to show me um, the overexposed areas of my image. So first, please use the uh, the eyedropper the white balance tool and click on the 
brighter gray surface of the cube. Why the brighter? Of course, there is the main light source. Um, just to explain this, um, this environment here or this situation, on the left side, there is a glass door and a window. Behind is uh, daylight. And to the right side, it's the data color office. There's a long, long corridor with all the offices. So I click on the left side because of the daylight. It's the strongest light source here in this case. And I can do a correct white um, balance with this, with this um, yeah, left um, gray zone here in this case. Now we have to um, select the correct settings for the exposure slider. Um, look here, everything is over exposed, of course. So correct the settings to a level, which is, look here, the white area or the white surface of the cube has to be not overexposed, so there must be texture. And now there is texture. Don't care about the edge, that's uh, just a reflection. So the white surface shows all the texture which is inside. And as you can see here in the chrome ball, this is still overexposed, so if I switch it off, the warning function, you can see that this white is a bit brighter than this white here on the cube surface. So I will keep it on all the warning functions. Underexposed zones, they will be blue. So here is the black slider, but which setting is the correct one? So normally you can do guesswork and hmm, it's this contrast or a bit more or what is the right setting that's why um, the cube offers a black trap so that's absolute black there mustn't be any texture because your camera can't see any details in the black trap so um, please increase the black slider until the black trap is without any texture now it's done took the black surface is a very deep black with texture and the black trap without. So now please click this little symbol. I don't know the name of this um, little icon here. I have no idea. So <laughs> click it and there is one um, option, save these settings. I click it, I click save and then I will call it Wednesday. Click on save and uh, I click on cancel because if I don't care about this image and I want to keep it wrong for the next presentation then. But I'm interested in this image. I open it and you can see there is no absolute black. So no idea how to set the black slider normally. But now look at here. Here are the presets. And look, there is one entry which is called Wednesday. And when I click it, now please look at the image, look at the colors, the color balance, and the contrast balance. That's it. So everything is done. And I can, of course, now open the image with the correct exposure and the correct black settings. The white point is corrected and the tone as well. Another um, option to open your images, so if you um, not um, capture just one image, if your images are 100 or 200, select them all, then click with the right mouse button on your images, and there is a develop setting option here in the raw converter, and then I could use the Wednesday setting to um, convert them all with the same setting. So then it's done with the corrections. That's it. So you can see Spider Cube is easy to use. Now let's go back to our little presentation. I just want to give you a short overview about, um, about um, the camera and camera raw calibration tools. Camera calibration tools because of there is by the lens call. By the lens call is a tool to correct the 
autofocus of a camera. That's not a color correction tool, it's an autofocus correction tool. So um, you will get razor sharp images. Then Spider Cube, that's the tool we talked about here in the online seminar. And a spider checker. Spider checker is a reference in color. So it's um, to linearize or to balance the color of your camera. It means it's uh, yeah, color calibration. Then the rest of the data color tools are Spider 3 Express, Spider 3 Pro, or Spider 3 Elite. So all these three sensors um, are made to, to correct the colors of your monitor display. If you are interested in the, in the details, how to calibrate a, a monitor or even a front projector with the Spider 3 Elite, please join our other webinars. Go to our website, www.datacolor.eu, click on learning section and then online seminars. Please register to the appropriate um, webinar and uh, yeah, then join them. So I think it's quite interesting. Then Spider 3 Print SR is the tool to profile a printer and the Spider 3 Studio SR is the package which includes the Spider 3 Print SR and the Spider 3 Elite and the Cube we talked about. So Elite, Print SR and the Cube is in this package. Last but not least, we offer a free of charge support. You can um, contact us on, um, at www.datacolor.eu and support, and then online support. Submit a ticket and we will answer your questions in the next 24 hours. If you are really in a rush, then of course you can reach us by um, phone, by a um, helpline. The number is 00800-700-800. And it's a free of charge number from whole Europe um, from nine o'clock to half past five in the in the afternoon Swiss time. Then if you are interested in purchasing a spider but you are not sure which spider is the correct one for you, again come to our website datacolor.eu slash product finder or click on products and then you will see another entry which um, which is called product finder as well it will start a kind of assistant and this online consultant will ask you six or seven different question, uh, questions you just have to answer them with yes and no and it will find out which spider is the correct one for you so that's all the information about spider cube now, if you have further questions, you can type them in the little um, in the little chat box. I will read them loud and clear, and of course answer them. Uh, I won't read the names, so it's just to um, clarify your additional questions.